My brother Berkeley. Yeah. Uh, he has red hair and she has red hair. Yeah. And this is my uh, my brother's two grandchildren uh, and they're twins. He has he has three he has uh, three children and this is uh, his youngest daughter. Okay. And then this is. Uh, this is me when I graduated from high school. Oh, wow. How old were you in that picture? Eighteen. Oh, wow. <laughs> and this was my uh, ex-husband. Uh, he's really Very a nice fun. guy. Really. <laughs> and this this is my brother Jimmy. Now he's about he's about six foot tall. And this is his his uh, wife Carmela. Yeah. And. Uh, this is my brother Jimmy. Let's see, that was Jimmy too. Has he passed on or? Huh? Yeah, all of my brothers are gone oh. and my sisters too. Yeah. Now this is uh, Helen and Bill. This is my youngest sister. Yeah. Neither one of them, ha they don't have any children. Yeah. And uh, they, their, her, their name, Helen's name and Helen and Bill Furman. Now this is uh, uh, Rita Rita Wigglesworth yeah. and uh, her husband uh, uh, Rick. Hmm. And when she married him, she liked the Wigglesworth name so much she wouldn't change mm -hmm. her name yeah. to his. <laughs> and, uh, That's funny. <laughs> I was this is uh, my, let's see, this is Pam. This yeah. is my um, brother Roger's. Uh, That's fine, yeah. This is my brother Roger's wife. And uh, this is uh, Pam and Charlene. These are Charlene's <laughs> two kids. Yeah. And their names are Braden and Jenna. Now, this is Connie and Marty Malecki. And these are her two children, er, uh, no, Greg and Ryan. And this is Connie Malecki, my oldest daughter, and Tiger Lily, who is Greg's little baby. No, is that right? Yeah, yeah that's right. Now, this is uh, this is Greg and his wife Leslie, and this is uh, Greg's brother uh, Ryan. Yeah. And that's Connie Malecki and Marty Malecki. Here's Ryan and uh, Leslie, and this is Tiger Lily, and this is Rose. And here's uh. Leslie, uh, Tiger, Tiger Lily is the oldest one, and uh, Rose Ruby is the other one. And this is Tiger Lily. I don't know why they ever yeah. called her Tiger Lily, but <laughs> the dad calls her Tiger and the mom calls her Lily. Yeah. Now this is Connie and she's trying to feed Tiger Lily some milk. Mm -hmm. And here's Tiger Lily, Lily. she's eating uh, She's eating a jelly bun or something. Really a mess. Now this is uh, Frank and Christine. Frank was Chris's first husband and this is their baby, uh, David. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, let's see, this is Marin. Yeah. And uh, after Chris and David divorced, well then, uh, he remarried, and this is uh, Marin from his second marriage. Now this is uh, Chris and uh, Chris and Frank, and this is David when he was just a little guy. You worked in an aircraft factory, didn't you? I thought. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Wow. How old were you when you worked there? Well, uh, I started out in a bayonet factory, uh -huh. and then uh, I went to work at. Uh, 
an aircraft that, a battery of riveting um, uh, aluminum siding on airplane, airplane parts. That's when you were like 20 or so, or 22 or somewhere in there? I'm 80 years old. <laughs> I know, but, but that's, that's when you were, I try to think like when that was, was that, was that with, like when you moved to Cleveland or, I don't remember. To like get a timeline in my mind, you know. Was was oh, it was, it was the during 90. the war, right around yeah. the time of the war, World War Two. So that that's as close as I can yeah, get right now. Fun. Now this is my daughter Christine, yeah. and this is uh, David grown up, and this is David's wife Paula, and they live in Florida now. And here's to Chris and David yeah. again, and. Uh, Let's see, I'm here. This is Chris and uh, uh, her second her second husband. And this wait. And this is Brett. She started a new family and this is Brett is when he's a little bit older. Uh, this is uh, this is Brett and uh, Margot. She's beautiful. And this is their little daughter. Who was it who wanted to see da uh, Marco or Marco. Sigo? Uh, yeah, what? I wanted to see their daughter. This is Brett and Marco's daughter. She's older than I expected. Uh, she's only about six. Yeah, but I expected her to be like four or something. Mm -hmm. Now, this is uh, Monica Post and this is uh, uh, Chris's husband's children by the, their first marriage before he married Chris. Now this is my son Fred and Fred Frederick Thomas Hatch and their daughter Gloria and here's uh, Gloria's baby uh, Amor yeah. which I guess means love yeah. and this is uh, Sean, or Sean yeah. and Maureen Here's Maureen, uh, Di Diana, and Mike, Gloria, and Sean, and this is Mike and uh, Diana, and their, uh, over here this is Mike, and there's uh, his little boy Maxwell, and this is Maxwell, and he's really a little cutie. Yeah. Now this is. Uh, Grandma Maureen and Amor. And this is Amor when she was oh. first born. And let's see. This is this is Gloria and Amor. That's a really and this good is Amor stuck in her toe. And this is Amor. And this is Amor stuck in her mother's hair. And this is John. And this is gets down to uh, Cynthia's husband. This is uh, uh, Cynthia and Carl. Yeah. Cynthia and Carl, and Julie, yeah, Eric, are. and Peter. And this is Julie and Peter at an older age. Yeah. And this is Connie. After she put on a little weight. <laughs> and this is Cynthia. And this is uh, Peter. Oh. That's it. And this is Grandma. This is Grandma Strader. She was Grandma Hatch, and uh, then Grandma Strader. That's. Mm. And then uh, this is Grandpa Hatch, and he was married to her. Yeah. And uh, they divorced, and uh, on the second married, he married Kathleen, and this is this is uh, Kathleen's baby Michael. And I was kind of, uh, well, anyway, no, oh, I don't yeah. want to go into that. That's okay. And this is, the, this is the Crystal Cathedral where I went to church when I, but now that I don't have a car, I don't go down to church. I just listen to it on television. And it's, I really love that church. And this is the pastor of that church, and 
uh, his name is Robert, Reverend Robert Schuler. And, uh, but anyway, I mean, it's just my favorite book, I think, yeah. everywhere. How old were you when you started traveling? Like, so you go on well, vacations a lot, or you well, did? Yeah, you know, I started traveling when uh, uh, all my kids graduated from high school. And I wasn't, I could take off. You weren't tied down. Yeah. By Cynthia. <laughs> so, and, well, my husband and I were married for 24 years, and all of a sudden, uh, he said to me one day, I was thinking, I, I'd like to lose this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> okay. one, day, one day, he came to me and he said, I think we should get a divorce. <laughs> oh my God, no, my shit. <laughs> so I went out and we applied for a divorce right away. <laughs> That's funny. So he's, he, he's remarried now, and I never wanted to ma get married again. <laughs> Getting married the first time was rough enough. I don't yeah. want to go through that again. <laughs> that's so, hilarious. But that's she, it. She went on vacation right after that. <laughs> <laughs> I went on a long vacation all around the world. Yeah. But that was fun. That was one of the best times of my life. Although I have to say, being a senior citizen has been a great time to yeah. ever not being a senior citizen. Yeah, you don't have any words, you can do whatever you damn please. <laughs> <laughs> you get to park everywhere too. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, so, it's pretty nice. Where'd you guys go? That you guys are drinking, Mom? You guys went on vacation somewhere? Where is that? Reader Dream. Budesheim, Germany. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wow. So, but anyway. You made bayonets and airplane stuff? Or? Yeah, I worked at in Ashtabula before I even, uh, right after I graduated from high school, I got a job yeah. uh, working in a bayonet factory. Oh, wow. and. Uh, uh, so, um, I, uh, someone wanted me to make them a dagger, <laughs> and so uh, one, of, one of the guys that worked cut it off and round it down to a dagger for me, <laughs> and uh, I don't know who it was that wanted that dagger, it was one of my kids, I think, and uh, with the dad, they made bayonets that were about this long. Yeah. And then I moved over to uh, the next job I got was uh, I worked uh, riveting in uh, in a uh, uh, where they made airplane. Parts. That was World War Two. Yeah. Oh wow, that's they, cool. Wow. They made the, uh, the where I worked. They made uh, the engine the, the engines that go on the wings, and they had two engines on the wings. That was before you met Fred or or right around the same time I think or I don't remember if it was before or after he's been missing a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so but he's he's happily married. Oh yeah. <laughs> so he after after yeah. being married to me he married some other lady and uh, they were married for four years and I understand that uh, they, he couldn't get along with uh, her son, so they got a divorce. She just couldn't stand her son, <laughs> and so they got a divorce. And then he ended up marrying Betty, and uh, they, uh, I kind of forgot what about what. They have a daughter, Sarah. Yeah, they have yeah. a daughter, Sarah. So. So. She just had a baby a year ago, actually. Their, Sarah did, so, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you si you were six when your mom died, or uh, somewhere I there? Was, I was six years old when my mom died. Okay, and then you went to the orphanage, or? And then I went to an orphanage, and I was living in the orphanage for about a year, and then Aunt Will took me out, and uh, you lived with them Aunt for a while. was Nina, and took me to a beer, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you're a crotchety old lady. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I couldn't. I, I 
and could just stand and live and with her. Yeah. And finally, uh, finally, I uh, ran away from. Oh, see, I ran away from her. Yeah. And she and Uncle Arvo came along the, the car and they saw me walking along the highway on my way to Cleveland. Yeah. And uh, what she want? Oh, she just needs to go to the bathroom outside. So. Oh, the dog needs to go. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I was a lot walking along the highway, and Uncle Arvo and Aunt Will come along and pick me up, and she didn't give me up or anything for doing it, but she was a hell of a person to live with in the first place. She was the reason I left. I was leaving, and so I thought, well, it didn't work this time. So I had, uh, as, uh, as soon as I finished, uh, as soon as I finished high school, uh, I got a job working, and uh, um, I um, hmm, made bigger money, for yeah. money, twice the money that I did at the bayonet factory, and uh, so I. Hmm. That's when I decided to save up my money and take off for good to Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> and she never went. I went back a year later to see how she was doing and make sure if she was okay. Yeah. And I'd send her some money for a while to help her live on, but uh, anyway, it wasn't about it wasn't too long after that she married a second husband. So. Yeah. What happened to her first husband? Well, Uncle Erbo died of a heart attack when I was about 16 years old. Oh. And uh, she got married, they uh, made her second husband. Yeah. Who was her second husband's name? Oh. You said they found you walking along the highway, though, when you left, or? Yeah, they saw me walking, brought yeah. me back. Oh. And, uh, when you left again a while after that, or? Mm -hmm. So she kind of knew that you were leaving, but she was kind of okay with it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, she wasn't okay with it, but I think I had, originally, if she hadn't treated me so crappy, I would have, would have supported her for about the next 20 years, probably, yeah. if need be. But I, didn't, I made up my mind I wasn't going to live with a woman for another 20 years who so was so mean and nasty. Yeah. Some people are just like that. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, they're hurting on the inside or have their own problems and they take it out on people around them, you know, even though you don't do anything to them, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, she, she never had any children and I think God knew what she was like, so... Kept her from having children. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> So she solved that problem by taking me in, and I it was a good thing. It's, I'm sorry if she ever did. I was happy where I was in the orphanage. <laughs> That's pretty sad when you'd well, rather be I in the orphanage. Had, there were about 35 girls in my dormitory, and I enjoyed. Uh, we get up in the morning and we get in line and like in school, and we would not march down to the cafeteria and eat and march back. And then we would march to dinner, and we'd line up and all head up towards school. And uh, but I really had a, a busy life. Yeah. It sounded like it'd be like summer camp. It sounds like it would be a lot of fun, actually. Mm -hmm. Except for head lice. <laughs> Sorry. Did you live with your grandmother at all or not? I thought you did. Yeah, I went to live with my grandmother. Uh, was that before Aunt Lil or after? Or? Well, I was living with Aunt Lil and my grandmother said she wanted, she wanted me to come down to Virginia because all of my brothers and sisters were in Virginia yeah. with one or another. They, each one was in a different place yeah. with a different aunt and uncle. And so she said, uh, uh, she wanted, Grandma said she wanted me to come down to Virginia so I would be with my, be around where my brothers and sisters were because I was the only one in Ohio. And so Aunt Lil said, Sarah, do you want to go? And I said, oh, I'd love to go. I mean, 
I, but I was really thinking, I want to get out of this house, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, uh, I went down there, and uh, I was only down there for about a year. And uh, uh, they found out that grandma, grandma was dying with cancer. Mm -hmm. And so they said, we, we have to get rid of all of these kids now. Yeah. So anyway, uh, they sent me back to Aunt Lil's house. I thought, oh, here we go again. Oh. And, uh, but that was, uh, anyway, finally I ran away from home the second time and never went back. Yeah. Other than to visit. Yeah. What did she say when you went back a year later You went and visited her? Was she? Nothing at all. Really? She probably they had to be rid of me. Yeah. <laughs> so I think if a woman treats a child uh, so rudely as she did, I think she called me every name in the book. Yeah. And she hated my father. Huh. And she called him every name in the book. Yeah. And But uh, my mother was her sister, so she always was talk nice about my mom. Yeah. Do you remember? Well, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember much at all before your mom died, or what it was um, like, or that was a long time ago? <laughs> or before you went to the orphanage, or? For the farm? The, with the playing with your brothers and sisters? Yeah. No, I, uh, in fact, uh, when, uh, all my kids, each one of the kids went to a different person. Yeah. And uh, so finally after, uh, I didn't see my brothers and sisters all after I was eight years old. Wow. And then after I was eight years old, one by one, each one of them took turns coming back to uh, see me and see what I looked like. and. Mm -hmm. What not, and I was always glad to see them. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, my Grace, my sister Grace, was kind of a strong-minded person, a little on the bossy side. <laughs> and my brother Berkeley, he was uh, he was pretty much uh, he liked and he liked doing things with his hands, drawing, making drawings. Uh, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but uh, anyway. And then uh, there was me, and then there was Jimmy. Now Jimmy was, uh, 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 he was a fun guy. He was, uh, he liked, Jimmy liked, uh, Jimmy liked to laugh, and he liked to tell jokes. But he was living with Aunt Thelma. I had two Aunt Thelmas, one in Ohio and one in Virginia, in Washington, D.C. And uh, uh, Jimmy, uh, well. You have a lot of problems. <laughs> well. Jimmy would decide he wanted to take off when yeah. he was there, and so he would take off and go across the country to one place, some place or another. Wow. When he was a little kid? Uh, then, huh? When he was a little kid? Well, not, not when he was a little kid, when he was uh, uh, like 16 or 17 or 18 wow. years old. But, Okay. She never knew when he was taken off, and oh, she what? didn't seem to mind. She, huh. He would take off and go someplace, yeah. and then come back maybe a week later or a month later. Oh, wow. and <laughs> every, she, uh, she didn't give him hell or anything. He just, uh, mm -hmm. She just knew what he was like. Yeah. So. What did he end up doing when he got older? Was he like worked with leather or something? I don't know. I don't remember, I don't remember exactly, but... I don't remember what... Uh, you're asking me too many things Sorry. to remember at once. <laughs> so, yeah. but 
But Jimmy was my favorite brother. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Roger was a pretty nice kid, too. Yeah. Roger had a speech impediment. Oh, yeah. And uh, when he talked, uh, he couldn't say ours. Yeah. So even yeah. though he was a grown up man, he would stay woozy. Yeah. And uh, for gross. And yeah. uh, then he. Uh, he married. He met a girl who uh, uh, Roger and Carm and Jimmy, Roger and Carm. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, she uh, she had a, a Roger's wife. Roger and Carm. Roger's wife. Uh, had a high pitched voice. Yeah. And uh, it was Roger, Roger, we could you get would you get me this? Roger, would you do that? Roger, give me get me something else. And uh, I mean she was always having him do things for yeah. her. And uh It's a high maintenance lady. Uh, well he he really he really uh, uh, he really they, they really got along pretty good. Yeah. So... Um, Did, they died though, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Did he take his own life or not? Uh, well... I thought he did, but I don't know. Yeah, Ro yeah Roger took his own life. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, I don't know what... Uh, I have to... I can only guess what caused him to take his own life. Yeah. But he, one day he shot himself. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of sad, but then along came Helen, and she was married to Bill, and uh, uh, Helen, uh, Helen, and Bill loved each other very, very much. Oh yeah. And uh, uh, at some point in her life, I don't know what why she did it, but she shot herself. Mm. And about three years later, Bill was so depressed and so upset about the whole situation. Three years later, he shot himself as well. Yeah. Shit! <laughs> I'm tell there's a lot more to this, but I, I haven't did so so many years ago. Yeah. But uh, anyway, when when Helen shot herself. All I can think of was, oh God, no, not again. Yeah. And that sucks. I was it hoping again. nobody else in the family would ever do such a thing. Yeah. It's sad. Jump off of a bridge or something like that. Yeah. That's sad. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your dad? Did you get along with your dad? Okay. Is he mm. your your father? Well, my father. What did he and, do? Uh, I my father was an engineer, and uh, cool. he worked for Big Spoiler Works in Akron, Ohio. Yeah. And uh, we lived in a farm on Greensburg, Ohio. A bunch of little kids. Yeah. After my the mother died, nobody was taking care of us until yeah. we were about nine, eight or nine years old. We yeah. just. Were, Ran around the farm. And, really? Uh, yeah. Finally, he, he he tried to get housekeepers, but nobody wanted to take care of these nice little kids, dirty little kids. Yeah. And so yeah. they would leave. And uh, so finally, uh, yeah. I think I don't know what the reason was. I don't know if the school prompted it or not. But finally, they decided to take us away from him and yeah. put us in an orphanage where uh, they, we were supervised. Yeah. And, uh, so he was an engineer? My dad? Yeah. Uh, I well, anyway, all in one year, uh, uh, how, could, how could I say that? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> He had, he had so much on his mind. Yeah. His wife was dead. He had six kids. Yeah. Couldn't keep any housekeepers. 
and uh, whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, uh, uh, that's it. <laughs> that would be kind of crazy to go from living with all your oh, brothers and sisters. That's what I was, that's, that, that's, that's the part we had to get, get to. Uh, every, he had so many problems that he emotionally broke down yeah. and he was put uh, in Lima State Hospital mm -hmm. and he was there for a while. Yeah. So. Did you talk to him when he got out or like a long time yeah. later? Okay. That's good. It's just friendly and everything, yeah. But uh, I, I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't let him come and live with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so. Yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> I didn't know he wanted to. Hmm? Did he want to come live with you? Uh, I think he would have appreciated someone to care about him after he yeah. came out of a mental hospital. He had like a mental breakdown, you said? Or? Yeah, it was like oh, a wow. mental breakdown. It's from all the stress, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, pretty stressful with like a bunch of kids and stuff, you know? <laughs> Trying to work it all. <laughs> well, having six kids and yeah. No wife to take care of him while he was he was trying to be father and mother yeah. and everything all at once. Yeah. Which wasn't a good thing. Yeah. But I really loved living in an orphanage. Yeah. <laughs> I would I would rather have done that to ever gone back to Antelope's house. Yeah. <laughs> was it just you and Aunt Lil and her husband or Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Was it an actual running farm? Like, did you guys have animals and stuff there, or is it you guys yeah, just lived? Yeah, we had uh, we had a great big huge barn oh, wow. with a great big huge haystack next to it that yeah. was as big as the barn. Oh, wow. And then we had a corn crib that was filled with corn, believe it or not. Huh. And uh, we had a chicken coop. We had a chicken coop that was filled with chickens. So this was and, a working uh, farm. Yeah, oh, well, wow. we had. We had pigs, and every year we had little little litters of pigs running oh, around. That's cute. Where yeah. was this? Hmm? Where was the farm? It was in Greensburg, Ohio. Oh, so, I never even knew. I um, thought you guys just lived out there. I didn't well, realize you had Well, if you know farm. where Akron is and you know where Canton is, Greenburg is about halfway between Ak Akron and Canton. Oh, I didn't know. So, yeah, I didn't know you had animals on the farm yeah. either. My mom was buried at Greensburg Cemetery, and mm -hmm. uh, when my dad died, they hauled him back to be buried next to my mom. But I said I was never, I was never going to be buried. There's eight <laughs> lots there. My dad bought eight cemetery lots, one for uh, my mother and father, and one for each one of us kids. Yeah. But nobody ever got buried. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you had to take care of the animals and stuff when you were with Aunt Lil and like all that, all like feed oh, them all and uh -huh. stuff. Or no, Aunt Lil didn't have animals. Oh, okay. uh, she just had birds. Oh, okay. She yeah. had canaries oh, so and fish. So that was where that was where you grew up then, where the animals were when you were a little kid. Yeah, oh, okay. that was at my my mother, my father's. Oh, okay. Home. So that's before you went to the orphanage, okay. okay. From there I went to the orphanage. Oh, okay. And then Aunt Lil took me out of. Of the orphanage, and that was the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's bad. laughs> and when they decided to put me back, that was the best day. <laughs> so, yeah. Where, how many people are at the orphanage? Like a hundred, or? Well, like it, there were there were four. There were so uh, they had a nursery department with about uh, twenty-five or fifty babies in it, and then yeah. they had a. a, a Preschool. They had a department for little kids, and then they had a department for boys. All the boys were separated from the girls since yeah. they were older. Yeah. And so they had whole wings for just for girls and another yeah. wing for just boys. Yeah. And uh, every day, every Sunday, they made us go to church. Yeah. We had to go to church no matter what. And that was okay. So did you have your own clothes at the orphanage, or did they have like a... Well, no, they had a 
great big uh, uh, they had a room about the size of uh, it was a small room like your bed the bed bedroom that I'm in mm -hmm. and they had a pool on poles on each side of this uh, closet that went from front to back and they had clothes uh, they had all kinds of clothes uh, hanging on there and when they wanted you to have a fresh clothes, a bunch of clothes, they would lead you to the clothes closet and they'd pick out a dress they thought would fit you and hold it up to you and say, well, that looks like it's her ladylike. And that would, <laughs> that was it. Yeah. You, just, you, you just didn't have your own clothes anymore. You just yeah. wore what was in the closet. <laughs> but I really loved it there. Oh, yeah. But you said she took Aunt Lil took you out, but then she put you back for a while, or or put you back in the orphanage. Or yeah, you said you went back. Yes, she, yeah, she took. Uh, well, she took first of all. She took. Uh, oh, that's so far back to remember. That's <laughs> hard. She had Roger and I both. Oh, okay. And uh, to start with, yeah. You know, she decided. Two kids was too much to handle, and uh, uh, I don't know. This was I'm 80 years old. I'm 80 years old. I'm 85, really. I lose my keys every day, and I'm 24. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, the orphanage was nice. Uh, I liked it being down at my grandma's house, but yeah. that didn't last long. Yeah. They had uh, they had uh, they had it was in Marie, Virginia, where my grandma lived. Yeah. And we had to walk through the woods down one rather road to get down to the main highway where the school was. Yeah. And we had to walk back, and there was another road that went down on the other side of the property, yeah. and uh, they had a little uh, lake or little some I for a little it. kid it was yeah. a lake, but it was probably some probably kind cool. of a little <laughs> little pond or something. <laughs> But it was to us, it seemed real big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, when they found out my grandma, my grandma was die, going to die within uh, six months or so, they said, we've got to get rid of these kids. Yeah. So they uh, sent Roger to live with a, a different relative. And they wrote, they wrote uh, I think they had phones then, yeah. but I think they probably called her and said, we want to give you Florence back to yeah. you. <laughs> and so she, I think uh, when uh, Aunt Lil sent me to Washington, she put me on the train under the care of a for somebody on the train yeah. to make sure that I got off in Washington. Yeah. And when I came back, I think somebody from Washington drove me back to Anna's house oh, yeah. uh, up in the north again. Yeah. So. Although you're happy to run away, so once you're finally left, <laughs> uh, I well, get a job and get a paycheck and stuff, you know. Uh -huh. So. Which one of your kids was the hardest to raise? Of my kids. <laughs> yeah, Cynthia, Fred, Chris, or Buddy. <laughs> Let's see. I wouldn't say any any of them were hard to raise. Oh, okay. I I was kind of a I was good to my kids, but I was rather strict. Uh, <laughs> I know one time Connie had a boyfriend, yeah. and uh, they were sitting on the front stoop <laughs> necking, and I said I called Connie in and I said send that guy home, and next thing I knew. Uh, she was sneaking off to, to see him someplace, and I said, uh, Was it Marty, or is it someone else? <laughs> no, she wasn't. Uh, she hadn't met Marty oh, okay. yet. <laughs> uh, 
this was for her growing up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, That's so funny. But, no, I, uh, uh, I really enjoyed raising all my kids. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Let's see, what was Chris like? She's a troublemaker. <laughs> yeah, she was, uh, at that time she was pretty okay. Chris and Connie some, uh, hung together quite a bit uh -oh. when they were growing up. Yeah. Uh, Fred, uh, my son Fred, had a best friend by the name of Ricky Go. Yeah. His name was spelled T O E. Yeah. And uh, they spent a lot of time together. And uh, as much as I can remember yeah, about that fun. part yeah. about it. Yeah. When did you move to Columbus? Like when Cynthia was in high school, or so you guys came to Columbus from Cleveland, didn't you? Like. Uh, you know, like maybe in Cynthia was starting high school or something, but... Uh, well, I, I guess, uh, so, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was like somewhere oh, in there. Oh, my kids went to college. Oh, yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, Connie went, Connie and Chris went to Bowling Green College. Yeah. And friend Fred and Cynthia, by that time I was living in Berea. Yeah. And uh, they went to Bria, Ohio High School. But they went to Bria. Did. No, we moved down to Columbus. Huh? Fred went to Parma, and then I, we, we moved to Columbus, and I went to Whetstone. I can't hear you way over there. Fred went to Parma High School, just like Connie and Chris, and then when he graduated from high school, that's when we moved down here. And then I went to Whetstone. Hmm. Okay, well, that's, I've gotten to the point where my kids know more about what I did than I do myself anymore. <laughs>